Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here, and welcome to Horizon version 194. This is the new version, just came out yesterday, along with the brand new Fallout show. Very excited for both of them. I want to jump into a new playthrough because I looked over the patch notes for 194 of Horizon, and it is pretty extensive. There's been a lot changed, a lot added, a lot upgraded. So I'm quite excited to play the new version. I'm quite excited to have you along with me. So let's not delay any further. Let's jump right in and do a new game on survival. As usual, this will be a permadeath run. So hopefully we don't die and end the run prematurely, but I guess we'll see. And I'm gonna shut up now and we can watch this wonderful cinematic. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. All right, everyone, welcome to Horizon 1.9.4. We are in the vault. Gonna make sure everything's working okay here. Seems like it's all fine. Seems like it's all good. No stuttering. Game's running good. I have not customized my character too much yet. We'll do that before I leave the vault. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. All right. And this area is a bit dark, so I'm going to actually disable my ENB so you can see a little bit better here. This will save me from having to do editing, pretty much. I'll have my ENB back on out in the open world. Thankfully, it's just a quick, easy thing to disable it. Hello, Mr. Radroach. Ah, we took a hit. Two hits? Really? Come on. Hit him, Nate. Don't just look at him. Good gravy, Nate. Come on. Creature harvesting. You've harvested your first creature that was heavily damaged. When you, ha when you damage a creature torso too much, Harvesting will not yield as any meat or extra parts. When you damage a creature's head, you will no longer have any chance to harvest an intact head. 
When you damage a creature's arms or legs too much, you will have a lower chance of getting bones. Aim for a single limb location to minimize damage. Some weapons have reduced limb damage. Giant. Hmm. Roaches. What the hell? We have to actually kill them eventually, you know? We have to do damage to them to kill them. So, I mean, as nice as that is. And plus, like, we're trying to be efficient with our bullets, so... Maybe that's good advice, but I don't think I'll be not aiming at heads, you know? I'm gonna still be shooting at heads to make sure that we are efficient with our ammo. Hello, Mr. Teddy Bear. Talking Teddy Bear. That's Hinden here by Horizon. Hey, intro to mathematics. You know, it's not great that there was a guy in here reading intro to mathematics, although I guess maybe they were kids here too. Not sure how long they were here in this vault before things went bad. I forget exactly how it all went down. Pretty much it here, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's a bottle there. We'll take it all, sure. You wanna come this way, Rad Roach? Never mind. Never mind, you're just dead now. Let's be sneaky on this Rad Roach and not take a whole bunch of damage like we did last time. I thought I could just brute force my way through stuff, but I think being sneaky is probably better. That'll do. The harvesting is greatly improved. It's a lot faster than it was. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, it's a lot faster than it was. It was really, really, really slow last time in version 193, and that was very frustrating for me and both my both me and my, my viewers. I got a lot of comments about how it was annoying. Ooh, that's a nasty glowing one, isn't it? Hit him again, Nate. Hit him again before he hits you. Okay, good. Taking rads, ew. Is it worth trying to harvest this thing while getting nuclear material? Glow. I got glowing something. Does it have nuclear material on it? Uh, I don't have my pit boy yet. I was trying to hit tab to go and check, but I can't. We'll have that in a second. Okay, let's grab all the stuff. This is new. Fundamentals of metallurgy. Alloys and other rare materials can be used to craft your own legendary power weapons, power armor upgrades, and other various recipes. Junk items containing alloys and rare materials can often be found in legendary enemies. Crafting your own legendary weapons can be done with the ZX-1 Experimentation Lab. The ZX-1 Experimentation Lab can be accessed at the Universal Crafting Station. Universal Crafting Station can be built in settlements under Architect and Utilities. Power armor upgrades can be upgraded with alloy plating, which greatly improves defense. Ally plating can be crafted at the Universal Crafting Station under clothing and armor. Full documentation available in your field kit. Okay. Got it. That's all not changed then. Locksmithing tools, that is also not changed. Just grabbing all the things that we possibly can because why not? We'll take it all. Alright, we're not going to bash this open. We're going to use our bobby pin because we don't want to waste our precious lock within tools. Come on. There we go. That's it. Free stealth boy. Bash it open. Yes. Nice. Cry later. I doubt we'll use that, really, because the damage is not that impressive, to be entirely honest. Get that Overseer's Tunnel open. Got everything here, yeah? We're good? Looks like we're good. Okay, and now it's time for a bit of covert... Covert Red Roach slaying. So we're gonna upset one or two of them. One down. One over here, my friend. You definitely won't be bashed as you come around the corner. Just there's a snack over here for you. 
Your friends are over here. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. That's BS. Hit him, Nate. Come on, hit him. What are you doing, Nate? Come on, hit him. I hate whenever you're in VATS and you don't get the first hit. It's like you lose the initiative roll or something in D&D. &D. One more over there. Can I go into first? There we go. Mmm, roaches. They really, really... I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Well, you've, you've, you've seen the previews for the show, right? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen the previews. The rad roaches, they're, they're real nasty in the show. Just as, if not more nasty than they are here. Sneak attack for two times damage. I guess that's it's two times damage for melee, but only 1.5, I think, for ranged. And here we go. Got a crit build up. Hello? Nate? Can you hit him, please? Thank you. Wasn't so hard. Come on, Nate. You can do it. I think he's walking away. That's why there's a problem. God, did we have to have the slow-mo close-up of the disgusting thing? That I'm going to eat later? This is a change as well. The skeleton is a... has a special experimental Pip-Boy on it. And after we put it on here, we should get a voiceover immediately telling us about why it's special, what it can do for us, etc. Welcome, Commander. Who... what are you? I am the Robco Military Auxiliary Intelligence and Navigation Entity. You may call me Maxine, or Max. I am a unique prototype created before the... Now, I'm playing on permadeath mode, and my rule for permadeath is going to be that if I actually get revived and taken back... If I get taken back to a settlement, the game's over. I have died, essentially. But, however, my companions can revive me with revive kits. So that makes permadeath a bit less uh, crazy than something like, say, Frost, where if you just get shot once you're dead, pretty much, and that's it. So this won't be... I probably won't die. This, we should be okay. We should be fine. Tips on combat. Weapon range matters uh, a lot. Keep your weapons upgraded. Low calibers suck against unarmored targets. Yep. Uh, shoot the weak points. Fire and explosive damage, good. Use melee to conserve ammo. Um, yep, got it. Feel free to read all that if you want to. It's nothing that's really changed from the previous versions. I'm going to assign my service pistol. Let me get this a bit closer so you can see it, maybe. Maybe, V. Putting down V. All right, we're gonna put uh, service pistol on two. And I will now go ahead and customize my character based upon the perks. Um, they have changed a tiny bit, but they're pretty much the same thing as normal in Horizon. I'm not going to go over that too much because people get bored when I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign my perks, change my looks, and I'll see you once we're head up to the surface. Okay, so here are our starting stats, guys. Uh, four strength for blacksmithing. That is the power armor upgrade and repair perk that we'll be doing. I'm, I'm doing a power armor build again. Look, sue me. I like doing power armor, okay? It looks freaking cool. I'm going to play what I want. Don't judge me. Um, seven for perception, and that's for the technologist perk, so we can do salvaging. It's been a bit pushed around. You can get more salvaging now from the... Intelligence Scrapper perk, which is nice, but I think we're still going to want to get the two points in Technologist from Perception as well. So we still have to go with seven Perception. Kind of a bummer because we're sort of wasting three points in Perception uh, to get to Technologist because the other three perks are not really that worth it. I would normally just go with uh, with four Perception for Locksmithing, although there is a Perception perk which gives you 3% increased experience gained per point of Perception. So... It's really not that bad. I would say even you could probably max out perception if you really wanted to go for a min-max, um, not intelligence, min-max uh, experience build. So, 
yeah, there's that. Uh, endurance of three for survival. That's pretty much the only reason. I would go higher if I could to dump more points here because more health is good. But I think uh, getting to three for survival, for survivalist and for the other perk, um, uh, life giver, which gives you a whole bunch of life. That'll be nice for a permadeath run as well. Charisma of one because uh, I, we can do without pretty much. Intelligence of nine because we're going with power armor, so we want to make those fusion cores last a long time. Plus nine intelligence is just nice for more experience. Three agility, which is for sneaking and energy weapons because those are really good. And luck of nine, we'll put our extra point into here for 10 luck, and then we should be set for our special points. That's all good. Let me change my appearance here real quick. Okay, so I have found a bit of a bug here. I'm not able to change my appearance um, in this menu whatsoever. I'm pretty much kind of stuck. I guess we're going to be default Nate in this playthrough because I don't really want to redo the that section. I, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I can do like looks menu later on or something, but right now I, I can change the default face, but if I go into face here and try to change this different style. I'm clicking and stuff and I, I can't do anything. I'm um, trying to use the keyboard too and it's just nothing's working here. Uh, I can do escape. I can, can I change the color? No, yeah, I'm just stuck with a, one of the, the default things, I guess. I should have customized it before I got in here. It's real unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. Whatever, I guess you're, you're Nate. Nobody's gonna see it anyways. We're gonna be in power armor the entire time. Every screenshot I take will be in Power Armor 2. Let's be realistic. This is a Wanderer playthrough. Not sure if that's an issue with Horizon or if it's an issue with uh, maybe the Quick Start mod I'm using. But I'm not too worried about it. Hazy feeling from cryostasis slowly starts to wear off. You receive four bonus perk points to select what your pre-war skills were. At five and every fifth level after, you'll receive four more bonus perk points. Use your field kit to access many features and options. Use your weapons kit to change ammo and all other options. Kits can be added to your favorites, your keybinds. You can change Horizon's combat difficulty at any time in the options menu. Okay. Got it. We'll turn our EMB back on because we're outside now and I can see properly. It looks a lot better with it on. An unusual radio transmission from that robot. Is it dangerous? Investigation would be required for an answer. All right. There is a robot here. It looks like Eddie from New Vegas. But it's Wilson. This strange robot has the name Wilson scratched into its casing. It appears to have a very simple modular design, which wouldn't need much technical skill to fix. It needs the following parts replaced. Perhaps searching the nearby area might help. Okay. Can we fix this? Salvaging nearby mechanical debris may provide adequate parts. Sure. Let's take a look. There's the high-grid wiring I need. But I don't see the other part. The fusion regulator is what we need as well. Searching nearby mechanical stuff, eh? Wonder if there's some type of thing I can interact with to get the part. This van, maybe? Hope I didn't just run past it and not see it, you know, being blind like I usually am. This doesn't work. I have my field of view up to 100. I normally put it at 90, but I put it to 100 for this because it was at 105 for my Skyrim playthrough and people seem to like that. So if the... Oh, this guy maybe. Aha! Aha! I did not see him there before. Very good. Anyway, if you don't like the FOV, if it's too wide for you, then let me know. I can adjust it. All right, let's... Get this guy back up and running. I'll locate parts and perform the repair task. You successfully activated Wilson. Wilson's a utility robot that can help you manage your inventory and perform other useful tasks. The device in your aid tab can call Wilson when you need him. Wilson's equipped with a stealth generator which allows him to remain hidden until called. He'll automatically go into stealth mode one minute after being called. Right, this guy 
can send stuff back to our base for us. So he has, let's see, 27% power. That's cool. So we he already has some power. We can move our junk from him to our base. This is a way for us to send stuff back to our base. We can also manage production management if we have local leader and missions from him as well, which is great, but I don't really have the charisma for that, but uh, it's fine. Totally fine. Okay, that's great. We don't have hey, a pal. base yet, but we will soon. That's first in our priority list. All right, thanks, Wilson. So we can use this device, which is where? Summon Wilson. Let's, let's favorite this. Put that on to, uh, let's say, it's be better once I'm in power armor and we can see things properly. I just have the FOV cranked pretty high because uh, people seem to enjoy that. I think it's better too, honestly. Feels smoother. Doesn't feel so claustrophobic to watch, I would say. Okay, so that's done. Let's head over to Sanctuary and get that going as well. Get our base going, get this playthrough rocking and rolling. I honestly can't wait to get going with this. I am a bit of a, I guess you'd say, a veteran player of Fallout 4, so, and Horizon as well, so I'll be going through this kind of snappily, kind of quick. I don't like to waste time. Except sometimes I do. I'm also not a huge fan of Wilson helping me here, so we're just going to kill these bloat flies ourselves. We don't need no stinking robot helping us. I'll take care of these bloat flies all by myself. Might be stealthy enough to take him out from a distance, too. I don't know. Or just use the, uh, use this thing. I think we'll just sneak up here and try to conserve some ammo. Wait for him to go back in there. Ooh, look at he's he's like his torso is like pulsing. Pulsating. Oh god, it's so disgusting. We're gonna wait for him here for a second and then take him out once he comes out this way. Gotcha. Didn't know what hit him. <coughs> Crap. Come on, Nate. Forward. My god, that was terrible. Ah, we got infected with something. Notice the uh, biohazard symbol over there. Wow, we took a lot of damage from that because I was too far away being a freaking idiot. All right, uh, radiation, no. I need antibiotics. Applying treatment. Okay, so if I use the antibiotic right away, it will get rid of the infection really quick. That was very, very bad. Oh, and we're taking more rads from him too. He's just bleeding out radiation there. Not great. Not great at all. Well, at least we killed him. What was I saying about I don't need no stinking robot? Hmm. Got it. Oh, lots of nice stuff here. A hacking guide. Very nice. Maybe I can forego investing points into hacking. Oh, right. We have points to assign as well. Almost forgot. I should be doing that first, I would say. So, um... Hunter is a no-brainer. We want that to be able to harvest more meat because this is just desolation mode and we're food's going to be hard to come by, so we'll want that. Uh, we'll certainly want to get the perception skill that allows us to get, um, yeah, awareness. For every point of perception, you gain 3% experience per kill in combat. Yeah. That's great. The second one is just kind of okay, but the first one is really good for this. Uh, I'll get that for sure. Uh, what else? What else? 
probably want to do Fortune Finder right away so we get the benefit of this right away. We get more... Basically, this, this makes it so that you find more stuff. And that's going to be vital for us on Desolation Mode. And the sooner we get this, the more the more it will apply to in terms of uh, things that we loot, right? So that makes sense. Uh, what else shall we get? Probably lockpicking. And that's it. That's all of our points. Okay, we'll get one more free point from the cellar. I'm going to be scrapping everything here with the scrap console thing, so don't have to worry about that too much at this point. Maybe we take this guy out with range, huh? Well, wait, you're up on top? Excuse me? What in the hell? That's a bit bugged. <laughs> Get it? It's bugged. He was bugged because he's, he's a bug. Get it, guys? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was a terrible joke. Can I vats him through the wall here? No, I can't. I think he's stuck in the roof. Okay, the hatchling's not a big deal. But still, I probably should kill the hatchling first. Yeah, he's totally stuck in the ceiling. That's some BS, man. He'll never come out either. If I did like a toggle clipping thing, he'd probably come out. I got but I gotta kill him though, because I can't use the workbench until he's dead. Hey you! Get out here! I can't vatch when I'm jumping. Right, I'm gonna shoot him then. Get out of there, you stupid bug! Literally bugged. Bug. Okay, we should be good now. We can hit up the... Whatchamacallit? Workbench thing. Oh, hello. Hey! All oh, right, we're over here. I'm at the wrong spot. There's another bug over here. Gotcha. Didn't even know what hit you, did you? Sorry if I'm playing like a spaz. I've had a lot of caffeine, okay? That's the wrong house. This one. Yes. This will not one-shot him, really. Well, I'm not going to waste a bullet then. I'll just smack him to death. Ew, that's a vegan. Oh god, they really are aggressive now, and they're really fast. I'm pretty sure this version of Horizon upgraded their speed significantly. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, Codsworth. It's done. I've saved Sanctuary. Did you miss me? You're a robot, Codsworth. You don't live and breathe. You're still here. Codsworth? You're st still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? Those bastards, they killed her. They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. 
Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? No, he's been kidnapped. They stole him. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> We're playing Angry Nate right now. We're not going to do this one, though. 200 years? What are you talking about? 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. You all right, buddy? Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this... hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise, but then, well, everything happened. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Codsworth, I already looked. They're not here. Then they're really gone, aren't they? No, oh, sir. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Okie dokie, to Concord we go, but first, let's hit this up. There's also a book here called The Mayor's Guide to Success. This is kind of a tutorial for Horizon. Make your town a successful town. Most utilities can be found in the workshop menu under Architect Utilities. The resource station helps you manage your production and storage. The resource station lets you assign a master workbench to control all settlement workbenches. The Universal Crafting Station contains all the crafting stations you'll need in a single station. A settlement is considered an, experiment, an expedition camp when it meets the following. Has 6 or less settlers, 10 food, 10 water, 10 power, 20 defense, and 1 communications rating. Right, so expedition camps are really good to set up for settlements that have very high yields of minerals and oil. Because you can set up extractors there. And expedition camps, I believe, get a 50% bonus on those yields, as opposed to communities, which do not get that bonus. They get other bonuses. A community requires 10 or more, 12 or more settlers and 75% happiness rating. So you have to kind of figure out where, and it's random, which settlement gets what in terms of your mineral and oil deposits. So you just have to check them all and see which ones you want to do with what. Workshop skills are used to determine how skillful you and your settlers are. They're gained by assigning jobs and sending settlers on missions through the command table. They're gained by investing resources and using the training station or the training sessions on the tech lab. Training sessions are earned by gaining levels and completing quests. Okay, so 
that is new. The training session stuff is new. Um, you can now get training session points that store, and you can spend them whenever you come back to base, and you get them through doing quests and uh, other stuff, progressing the game naturally, which is great, because normally you couldn't do that. It was uh, a pain. You had to come back to your settlement every day, and if you missed a day, then, well, just too bad. You missed your, your upgrade chance. Now, um, in Horizon, in Architect, there is a scrap station you can use, a scrap cleanup station you can use. Um, you can use this to... I didn't get any wood there? Oh, I only got five, okay. You can use this to scrap stuff. However, it does not scrap everything in Sanctuary, and I like to just scrap everything, to be honest. And, um, I'm just gonna take a second and go ahead and do that, so... BRB. Okay, and here we are with a nice scrap settlement. I certainly did not just use the scrap all command or anything. I would never do such a thing. Um, I totally did. Look, guys, I've scrapped Sanctuary probably 30 or so times on various survival playthroughs, and I'm not going to spend half an hour to 45 minutes mainly scrapping everything again. I don't want Carpal Tunnel that badly, okay? Let's get our training manual, which is... Uh, in here for free, as well as our... all this stuff. Ammo and such. This can stay here. The frag grenades that come from that trash can, we'll get those. Um, no armor. What? There was a light machine gun. Where the hell did this come from? Must have been one of the safes. That's a hell of a find. Where the hell did this come from? I got Guys, I swear to God, I did not... I swear to God, I did not, like, put this in the workstation, or hit whatever. I didn't just shove this in here. This must have come from a safe in here. That is an insane early game find, guys. Holy crap, I got a light machine. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I can't use it, though, because I don't have five strength. Rip. That's hilarious, though. Okay, well, once we get the uh, power armor, we can use that, but I can't get power armor until I do Conquered, so I might just go to Conquered, like, right away. Uh, can't we put this in 30 caliber instead, though? Because we're not going to have any ammo for that, most likely. That's insane. Here's a random freaking SMG, that's, or uh, LMG, that's, that's freaking great. Okay, all this stuff can go in here for now. No, don't take all. I want to dump all. There we go. And uh, all this stuff. And yeah, this stuff can go in there too for now. And um, everything but the 10 mil, 9 mil. We got some 4570 ECA. Holy crap. That's some big sniper weapon ammo for the, um, the lever action. 38 rounds and 30 rounds, this can stay too. Okay, what else are we carrying? It's so heavy. Probably the probably guns, yeah. The, yeah, the gun's pretty heavy. Okay. Let me check. I should also um, go ahead and heal and get my healing supplies put on to th something here. Let's use this for our free perk point. Let's, let's use the first aid supplies. I, can't, I cannot believe I found a good condition light machine gun. I've never been that lucky. That's insanely lucky. But yeah, I just used the scrap all command... And it just, like, shoves everything into your workbench. <laughs> That's what I found there. I... Guys, I swear to God, uh, like, on... I don't know what I could swear on. On my channel. On the reputation of my channel on... I don't know. Uh, whatever I can swear on. That I did not just, like, give myself a light machine gun and put it in there. I would have at least made it deteriorated or something to, like, you know, make it more believable. It's a freaking good condition light machine gun. That's just freaking insane. I don't... I'm, I don't get it. All right. Um. Anyway. That's some insanely good luck. I've been having a streak of good luck, though. I really have. I mean, we have the Fallout series that came out, which is amazing. I really like it. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I don't want to... I don't want to give people spoilers, but I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. 
We're gonna build our barn now, by the way. If you're curious, this is the patented wanderer barn. Which should have should have its own prefab and horizon by now. Get on that, Zawanol. I'm just kidding. Um but the Fallout series was good. We got Horizon, which just came out, which is awesome. And, uh, most of you have no idea what I'm talking about with this and don't care, but the few of you that do, I play Path of Exile, and I had two amazing things happen yesterday. I had a Mage Blood just drop. Just dropped on the floor, guys. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna line up with this, with this one instead. Sorry, I'm doing this twice, but you know, it is what it is. I gotta get, I gotta get this right. I think, I think that is the best lineup. Uh, we're, it's, we're hanging over a tiny bit, but I don't think it lines up perfectly anyway. Best lineup ever, guys. Okay, we're, we're gonna cover up the front part with the porch anyway, so it, it's not gonna show. It'll be fine. But yeah, in uh, Path of Exile, I got insanely lucky. I got a, um, I got a Mage Blood to drop. Just dropped. Not even like the cards or anything. Just a freaking mage blood dropped. It's it's an insane. You have no idea what that is, probably, but it's an insane item. Like the one of the most expensive items in the game. And it just dropped for me. And I also crafted the most insane bill I've ever made for my archer character. So yeah, it's been it's been a very lucky couple of days for some reason for me. I'm not complaining at all, it's just it's just kind of weird, you know? My luck. You know, I'm usually so unlucky in games. But once in a while... Once in a while, guys... Things just work out. Maybe Nate had that LMG stashed around here somewhere, you know? Just in case. Just in case of bad times. He was training his wife on it before... The bombs fell and she was brutally murdered by some psychopath. Get our barn built here, then we'll go out and explore a bit. Just do a regular upper level here like this. I've built this thing so many stinking times now. I could do it in my sleep. Like that, uh, that streamer that got called out for doing that I don't know, some Monster Hunter World fight while with her eye with her blindfold or something with her eyes closed. Pretty sure it was BS. Whatever, though, I don't really care. Yet I found myself watching a 45-minute video about how like I had I had zero investment in this, but YouTube recommended it to me, so I ended up watching this 45-minute video about it. Sorry, I'm going off script, guys. It's ha it happens sometimes. While I'm doing random things, I just talk. My mouth flaps and words come out, okay? Don't judge too harshly. I'm trying to be entertaining for you. Alright, we've got to put a porch on. This is how you put the porch on with the roof, because you can't attach these like this. Even though it looks very natural and good, you can't do it normally. you got to do it like that. Then we put one of these things on. Okay, and then we got to put in our poles for immersion purposes. Yeah, we'll do it like that, and we'll do this coming off over here. Pardon me. You snapped a second ago. Come on now, you just snapped. You just were cooperative. Okay, tell you what, we'll do this. There you go, now you can snap. You know, I could do it like this. Is this new? Did Zawanul update how this snaps on? He might have, guys. That may actually be new. I don't think he could do that before. Did he update how it snaps? Because now I can do that, which is fantastic. It fits the aesthetic so much better. I really do, uh, oops. Store that, we'll use it later. I really do like that. I don't think it snapped that, or maybe it's because it's the wooden floor. I don't know. But, that's very nice. You can get rid of this one, I guess. You should just walk off over here. Yeah, it's fine. Here we go, it's our nice, nice porch. Make our porch out here as well. Is that the same way? Yeah, it's the same way. Okay, we're good. Must line up, guys. It must be all the same or else people get upset. Okay. Roofing. Same thing here. Put our roof on. Put this thing back. One of them. 
One of them. Boom. Here we go. Um, maybe I do it like this. Yeah. One, two. That might work out okay. We do the minis here. No, please. Please. Why is it not snapping? Does it not snap through the, the wooden part? Oh, that's, that's a bummer. That's a bummer if so. Okay, hold on. I can fix this. I can fix it. I can't do the every other one, though. Do I have to put in... Uh, you know what I have to do? I gotta put in, like, a barn floor or something, because this doesn't... The wooden floor does not have the proper snap points, I don't think. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's just a tiny bit of wood. We can delete it later on. I just want immersive... snapping points here, you know? I want it to look like it's really, I don't know, really real. There we go. Okay. So then we can get rid of these. They look bad. Put these back in. Yeah. It's the wrong way, but you know what I mean. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we go in and do our railings for safety. I could do, you know what we'll do? We'll do a um, horizon style staircase here. Horizon has stairs and the structural pieces. This is new, by the way. There are not this. Well, all these are, but this is crazy. This is insane, guys. Look how tall this thing is. And look how steep it is, okay? How steep this thing is, but guess what? You can walk up it. It is like the maximum steepness possible that you can still walk up. That's crazy. But wa walking down is a bit dangerous. You gotta be careful of that. Just be aware. Okay, watch your step coming down. All right, we're going to the stairs. We want a nice wooden staircase. Does that work? Oh, I think that's fine. It's not quite perfect, but it's good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. We're good with that. Okay. Interior. I need a bed. A personal bed. A nice personal bed. Did I want to do one of these already? Oh, we already did one. Okay. Uh, back to architect. We need the important stuff, not the dumb decoration stuff. The important things. The universal crafting station, which we just heard about. Let's turn surface snapping back on and make sure we line this up with the back here. Just so... That's good. Make a resource station for ourselves so we can do resource station stuff. Put that over here, actually. We move that over here. That's that's fine over here, yeah. Put that there. Then we need a command table. Mailbox too, sure. Mailbox can go over here. Put that back a bit more here. There we go. Mailbox and command table. Put it over here, though, so I have room for... Um, is there a cooking... Well, there's, there's a chemistry uh, bench here. Is there a cooking thing here? I guess it's a universal crafting station. I can just choose cooking if I want to. Okay, never mind. We can put it closer. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we got everything there then. That's Universal Crafting Station, ZX-1 is here, Resource Station is here, and Command Table is here, and that's pretty much all we need. Caravan Travel Radio. Do I want to do one, do one of these? I can do this, or I can do this. I don't have a leather for this. Okay, Travel Radio it is then. That works for me. We'll put this uh, over here. I do need to put in a crafting station for the power armor stuff here. Put that in over here. Boom, there we go. Um, we need the farming station thing. That's under architect now, right? Farming. Workbenches and gardens. There we go. This thing. Need, uh, you could do two of these, but we only have enough for one right now. 
right this allows us to manage our resources our master workbench is now a sanctuary that's good i want to get out the stuff that should go in there which is going to be diseased and gristly meat that cannot be used by anything except for composting open our compost bin dump that in there we go let's hit our mailbox up to start the mail cycle uh, let's see here let's do um open the mailbox container nothing here now that's good so in 24 hours we should get a gunsmithing mail i think can't do too much else here right now i'm just shocked that i got that light machine i'm gonna be entirely honest guys and i can change the um ammo type on it right away right Yeah, 30 or 5.56. Five, See, so yeah, if we find any 5.56 five, five, ammo, you know, GG's, we get a nice gun. But right now, I don't have anything for it, so we're going to store it at the moment. Same with the cryolator. That's probably what's, what we're carrying. It's so heavy. Switchblade can go in here. Uh, service pistol is fine. We'll keep using that. Our carry weight's pretty reasonable at the moment. We have one. One five five six round, lol. Okay. Have my grenades too, right? Yeah, get those on. Get that on. Okay, I'm gonna get a save in real quick to make sure we don't lose progress. Um, let's go ahead and make beds for our people real quick. Oh right, I almost forgot. We can repair stuff in Sanctuary. We can make it look nice. Let's upgrade Sanctuary to Tier 1. That will require just some wood and steel. Done. It's working. Upgrade to tier 2. Again, just to require some wood and steel and packing material. We have all that here. And tier 3 will not be able to do because we need workshop construction rank. Or maybe we do. Do I have this? Oh, I have it. Okay, we got to tier 3. Can I go to tier 4? Apparently I can. It's going to use all my glass. Like literally every last bit of my glass though. Screw it. Do it. That's the max, right? I think that's everything. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, that's the max. Okay, so I can now repair house roofing. It was also a roofer in his past life. What, I can, what can I say? Repair the house walls. Okay, we're good. Repair the house doors. All right. And uh, rebuild five. Destroy house. Five. Destroy... Well, no, I don't want to do that because that will that will put it over top of my current barn. That would not be good. What about the street lamps? Can I do that without using materials? I think I can. Holy crap. Because you have to do the tier upgrade for the to put the materials in. Okay. Um build house lighting. Okay, are we all done then? I think we're all done. Welcome to Sanctuary Hills, guys. It's freaking awesome here. I just rebuilt the whole place. Well, there's no door here on this one. Did it go through everywhere? Let me see. There's there's a door over here. Yeah, the street lamp's here. It should be bright here now at nighttime. That's going to be great. Okay, there's room for beds here. I didn't. There's no actual beds here, but there are room. There's rooms for beds. It's fine. Okay, we'll put in a bunch of uh, bunk beds then. That's fine. We'll just do um, one more over here, and then we'll have one extra. Okay, cool. There's beds. What about defenses? Can I do some turrets? Need parts for these, so I can't do turrets just yet. Okay, that's fine. I could do these, but I need people for that, so I, it's whatever. Okay. Um, right. Uh, I suppose we're good. Look, I even got a nice little light outside of our house now. Gives us a nice little bit of light here. That's pretty cool. But I used up all my glass and stuff. Okay, that means it's time to go do some exploration so we can get some stuff because we don't have any stuff now. We're using up all of our stuff to build up sanctuary for our eventual settlers. Um, let's see. What? Okay. Custom SMG. It's all ruined. Can I scrap all this stuff? It's all ruined. Might as well, right? Yeah, we can just scrap it. Nice. You, I can harvest. Take your stuff. 
Ooh, fusion cells. Alrighty. Let's go get everybody's best friend. This requires 120 salvaging skill still, so yeah, that's going to be a, a bit of a challenge. That's why we have to invest so heavily into technologist and all that stuff. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. All right, and I will now idle while I wait for these mole rats to get here. <laughs> ah, yes, the purification unit. To get purified water, you have to make purification units and uh, put them down. Not just regular water uh, production things, but also purifiers. You can pump water from the river, but uh, you need to also purify it, and that requires a higher level of tech than what I have. And what the heck was that? Requires salvaging skill of 80 for these. This requires 40. So yeah, if I want to start salvaging stuff right away... Oh, I have a level up too. If I want to start salvaging stuff right away, I'll want to invest in... Um, technologist down here. Level 5, I can get 2 points here, which is 40 salvaging. And if I get 2 points over here as well... In Scrapper which is level five as well for two points. I'll have 80 salvaging skill and I'll be able to do a lot of the stuff in the world and that will help That will help me out a ton. It'll help me start progressing towards getting um, to where I can do cars. And cars are really good because they have nuclear material in them. Just walk around here for a bit until the mole rat spawns, we can kill him. I got the hunter perk already, right? Yeah, we got rank one already of that. Cool. Need that to get some better chance of meat. I hear one more over here somewhere. Where is he at? I heard him. Dog meat smells him too. Aw oh crap, I clicked off. Whoops. Okay, we're good. And I got rads from that thing. Come on, man, stop this. Got him. It's gonna be a while till we get a lot of meat from these guys. You can get something called Prime Cuts later on, but I think it requires at least 100 hunting skill to get. So you wanna just harvest everything, and even though you're just getting crappy stuff from them both the time, at least you're leveling your hunting skill. Okay, that's taken care of. We can now use this place. Um, You guys know what's gonna happen here, right? Boom, done, good. Um, don't judge me. We're gonna leave everything else here for now, except for the valuables, I think. And we'll come back from later. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, vehicle, yeah, take those too, okay. Okie dokie, that's fine. We'll come back later for more stuff. Let's go down below, shall we, and check out the uh, cave down here. Get some nifty stuff down here as well. All this stuff is useful. I'm um, just to tell you, like it's, it's all good. We need all of it, okay? It's Horizon. We take everything. Okay, I can see reasonably in here now. I'm not really a very stealthy character, so I'm not sure I really even bother with trying to sneak up on these mole rats, but I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Whoa, level two! Congratulations, right in the middle of combat here. Okay. 
Um, right, I did all this stuff already. There's tips if you want to see them. I've already done all these things, all these things, so we're good. Okay. And, uh, yep, use your field kits and stuff. Got it. Ooh, rabid. We got infected. I need to use some antibiotics again. For that infection. Okay. I haven't lost too much uh, health, which is good. I mean, I did have to use some healing supplies already, so that's not good, but still, not the end of the world. Ooh, five mil rounds, very nice. Broom is a simple tool, we will take it. Can also call Wilson right away. That was a big thing that I hated, was that you couldn't call Wilson right away, but now we can, so we can just loot to our heart's content, and then uh, Wilson will take it all back with him afterwards. Great. I think the metal bucket counts as a simple tool as well. It's all useful. Didn't even know what hit him. He needs to be stealthy. Just run in there and smack him real hard. That's the wanderer way. Brute force and stupidity, but somehow we still make things work. Yes. Okay, okay. Not the best safe in the world, but not the worst either. I've seen better. But pretty much every safe pre 1.9.3 was worse than that, so I guess we can't complain too much, right? At least we're getting something. Okay, malfunctioning fusion core. Rest in peace, malfunctioning fusion core. Getting some fungus while we're here, because why not? Not sure if it's actually useful or not. But there we go. We got what, a 38 caliber pipe pistol? Yeah, just a regular 38. Alright. Out we go. Successful raid on the cave. Not too bad. Get a, another quick save in here. I don't think the F5 keybind works for that for some reason, so we have to just deal with that. Let's head up here and talk to Abernathy and go and get that stuff going, shall we? Get all that quest stuff going. Gotta stay away from those damn radiation thistles. That really, really was nasty. We got a lot of rads from that. Looting all the mute fruit and such along the way so we can turn those wild mute fruits into usable mute fruits. Didn't kill him, really. Get him, dog meat. Whoa. I'm so happy this is so much faster now, this harvesting thing. It was so painful to wait so long for it before, it really was. That's right. Did not know who you were messing with. Vicious dog. Feral mongrel. Wandy is the melee master. I've played Frost. I know what I'm doing. Alright, let's go steal all of Abernathy's food. I think it's actually gone now. Yeah, you can't harvest it anymore. 
Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. Okay. That'd be great. <laughs> that, that was the fastest uh, yes I've heard. Okay. Uh, no, not right now. Ooh, a baseball bat, though. It, wait, it's it's worth nothing? I can just have it? It's free? Well, <laughs> yes, I'll just take it then. Oh, uh, that's got to be a bug. Don't tell Zawinul, guys. Don't tell him. You tell him, he's going to patch it out. All right, sure. Do I have anything I can sell for caps, like valuables? Yes, I do. I have some cigarettes. Have some cigarettes. And uh, some pre-war money. There you go. Actually, pre-war money is useful. Give me that back. In Horizon, it's useful. Already, that works for me. Thank you for the bat. <clears throat> That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. Your wife's not armed anymore because I took her baseball bat for free, by the way. She's a terrible trader. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. Been ages since I've seen one of those vault suits around. You new to these parts? Yeah, kind of. I'm... Yeah. You could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? Hell no. That's what you're for, Abernathy. You know the settlers I'm going to recruit. I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday and we'll do a swap. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you mean that's a bad thing. Right, that's... That's very bad. Sounds like bad news to me. You really are new to these parts. Best armed bastards in the Commonwealth. You have something they want, they won't hesitate to take it. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Um, sure, the Minutemen... Yeah, that's terrible. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Sure, why not? Just go into a den of nasty, murderous raiders and kill all of them to take a simple keepsake for you. Yeah, that's worth risking my life for. Sure, I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. All righty. Surely nothing could go wrong. Can Wanderer beat some rad sags to death so he can save some ammo? Let's find out. The answer is probably yes. Maybe. Take all the things. I'm not even going to look, guys. I'm just going to boom, 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 take it all. Ashtrays cannot be looted, but yet I see them and I still try to loot them every single time. Every time, guys. If there's a Radstag buck here, I'm... Oh, that's actually... Okay, that's a glow a glowin Radst. Okay, we're not going to charge in for that one. That's a dangerous one. All right. If I do a shot and crit him, I still probably won't kill him. He's got, oh my god, he's got so much rabbits. It's level 32. It's worth a lot of experience though, I bet. All right, I have two perk points to spend here. What do I want to do before we level up any further? Or before we go any further? What do I want? We already have Fortune Finder, already have Hunter. Scrabble is going to be good. I don't need it just yet though. Maybe just do Locksmith for lockpicking because I hate leaving stuff behind for lockpicking. It bothers me so much. You know, I think we hold on to it for now, guys. I'm not sure what to get. All right, we're going to crit this bastard. 
Sneak attack, crit, get wrecked. Another one we can just chase it down. Might end up running into the uh, bloat fly over there. Isn't there a duffel bag here normally? Maybe not. Glowing tissue. I think that's going to be some nuclear material, which will be helpful. Bloat fly. Did it aggro the raider all the way down there? He's far away from his buddies. Ooh, that's going to be a tough fight. I don't know if I want to take that fight just now. Dog meat, bad idea. Stand down, dog meat. Hope he comes back because. Okay, good. Because I don't, I don't know about that. That was that would have been a bad fight. That guy was pretty tanky. Yeah, I'm not sure where the bloat flies are out here. I'm pretty sure that Radstag must have aggroed them. Perfect. The sad runaways hollow tape. While I slaughter some bloat flies. Nothing on this? R.I.P. Huh, not sure why it's not playing. Where's the bloat fly at? I think they all went to chase after this rad stag, and now they're all gone. Well, that sucks. I was gonna kill him. But not now. Okay, let's be on our way back towards Sanctuary. In fact, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for this episode. Um, we'll do some more exploring. We'll go out and clear out that raider camp over there and explore the back area around Sanctuary, get our army helmet and such over here, do all that stuff next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.